Not all pressing is created equal. I've said this before. Anybody can buy a heat press and press comics and magazines. But it takes somebody with years and years of experience, knowledge in all the different types of paper and ink and issues that are out there to be able to get the most out of each and every single book and issue. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's pressing before and after video. This one's a fun one. A lot going on. I talk about CGC's pressing. I got a crack and press of an issue and a great before and after shot. So let's take a look at this week's comic and magazine pressing before and after video. I'm going to be talking about a lot of different things in this pressing video. So what I've got here, Patrick Mahomes, first Sports Illustrated cover from November 19th, 2018. This one's graded at 9.0, as you can see right there. So this is a crack and press project. I'm going to be cracking this slab. I'm going to be taking it out of the inner sleeve. I'm going to be pressing it and resubmitting it to CGC for grading. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. But the other thing that I want to talk about, too, is why I don't recommend CGC's pressing service. So this issue was pressed by CGC, and I'm hoping that I can show you Look at that. You can see a finger bend right there, but right there, that's a finger bend that, man, that should easily come out from any independent third-party presser. Let's see if there's, there's another one hanging out up here. I'll try and see if I can get the light to show it. I don't think I can, but we'll take a closer look at all of these once I get this out of the slab. The reason I don't recommend CGC's pressing service is because they only use a cold pressing method on all of their comics and magazines. Independent third-party pressers like myself, we use a heat press. And it is well known that using a heat press is a dramatically superior method, much more effective for getting out all the things that pressing can fix. So we'll be talking about why I don't recommend CGC's pressing service, and then we'll have some fun, crack this slab, get it pressed, and I'll show you the before and after pictures. Okay, this has been cracked out of the slab. It is now, we've got the label that is separate, and now it is in its soft inner sleeve. So now, I'm gonna remove this magazine from the soft inner sleeve. Now that it's out of the soft inner sleeve, something that is important to do if you're doing this yourself, I save all of these labels until I get a bunch of them, and then I mail them back to CGC so that they can remove these from the census. It's just the responsible thing to do for the hobby. It's what's best for the hobby. It's what's best for all collectors so that we can have as accurate a census as possible. I save these up, and once I get, I don't know, 10 or 20 of them or something like that, I throw them in an envelope, mail them back to CGC. But for now, let's take a look at this issue. So let's see what we can get in terms of flaws. Little bit of waviness there at the top, but look, all, look at all of these finger bends. Right there, there's a nasty one. We've got another one there. We've got tons of them all over here. And again, this was pressed by CGC. So now you might be able to understand. Look at the back. Oh my gosh. Look at all of those finger bends on the back. There's, there's dozens of them. The rest of it looks decent. We've got a heck of a crease right there that certainly didn't come out in CGC's pressing. So now it's time for me to press this. So I'm going to throw this one in the presses and we'll let it sit for a day and I'll come back, show you the before and after, talk about the differences. It's been 24 hours. This has been sitting in the press for 24 hours. So now we've shown you the before shots. Let's look at the after pictures. Look at that. All of those finger bends that were all over the front of this are completely gone. And what's really going to be interesting is when we take a look at the back. Again, all of those finger bends. Remember that deep bend and crease that we had up there? All gone. All of the finger bends gone. So this is why I don't recommend CGC's pressing service for most magazines. It just uses a method that is not nearly as effective. You could see their method left all of those finger bends along the front and back. The heat press method got them out one run through the press. That's all it took. Sometimes it takes more than one run through the press, but this one, one run through the press. And now we've got a beautiful before and after shot. So what was before 
A Patrick Mahomes first cover graded at 9.0. I'm going to project that this is more like a 9.6 maybe even we'll have a shot at a 9.8. So if you are interested in my comic and magazine pressing service, drop a comment here on YouTube. Shoot me a DM on social media. It's the same username as here, CGC Sports Illustrated, and I'll do a bunch more before and after pressing videos like this beautiful one of Patrick Mahomes' first cover, 2018. Thanks for watching.